Oh. Hello. And welcome back to episode 4 of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald with me, Dan.W. On the last episode, we made our way through Petalburg Forest here to Rustboro City. And on this episode, we've got a, a fair few bits to do. Um, there is a lot to do. Uh, this is the first sort of major city we come to. And there is a lot to sort of walk around and learn, a lot to to hear from people, a lot of things to get from people. So let's begin from the start and walk our up to the end. Devon Corporation's workers live in this building. Oh, one of my faves. <laughs> yeah. Apologies for that sound. <laughs> my daddy's working at the corporation. My daddy made this, but I can't use it. So you can have it. And we got the Premier Ball. Way back in the old days, Devon was just a teeny tiny company. That's how it usually starts out. Devon's president likes to collect rare stones. I think the president's son also collects rare stones. Listening in my conversations, but okay. In case we got our premier ball from that room, room, that building. The old sailor, Mr. Briney, lives in a cottage by the sea. He goes for walks in the tunnel every so often. Okay, we've got our Pokemon here. We don't really need to buy anything yet, though. My Pokemon evolved. It has a lot of HP now. I should buy super potions for it instead of ordinary potions. I'm getting an escape rope just in case I get lost in a cave. I just need to use it to get back to the entrance. Well, I'm buying some paralyzed heals and antidotes just in case I run into Shroomish in Petalburg Woods. Ah. Did I decide to do that then? Did I? No. No, no, no. I was, I was thinking of it, but no. Because I had Torch if I'm not doing Breloom. Wow, you have Pokemon with you too? When I get bigger, I'm going to go to places with Pokemon too. Two. If a Pokemon gains experience in battles, it can sometimes change in the way it looks. A Pokemon changes shape? If one did that, I would be shocked. For my own Pokemon, I give them perfectly suited nicknames. It's my expression of uh, originality. Yes, that's it. I don't nickname my Pokemon. But giving the name Pikachu to a Pikachu, it just seems pointless. Oh, I suppose it's supposed to be Pikachu, isn't it? But P-E instead of P-R, yeah. I suppose it is good to use a name that's easy to understand, but... I don't nickname my Pokemon. Did you know this? You can have a two-on-two -two battle even if you're not with another trainer. If you catch the eyes of two trainers when you have two or more Pokemon, they'll both challenge you. Don't you think it'd be cool if you could beat two trainers by yourself? Yes. Pokemon Trainer School. If I go to this school, will I be able to catch rare Pokemon easily? So here we have the Pokemon School. Which I think canonically is taught at by um, the gym leader here, Roxanne. Hello? Didn't we meet before? I think back in Petterburg City. Let me introduce myself. My name's Scott. I've been travelling everywhere in search of outstanding trainers. More specifically, I'm looking for Pokemon Battle Experts. So what brings you to this school? Are you a trainer too? The first thing you should do is have a Pokemon learn the move Cut. If I remember correctly, someone in this town has Cut. Well, thank you. Pokemon can hold items, but they don't know what to do with man-made items like Potion and Antidote. A Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself. There are many kinds of items that Pokemon can hold. Boy, it sure is hard taking notes down. I'm trading Pokemon with my friend right now. I always wanted a Sea Dart and I'm finally getting one. Yay. You know how some Pokemon moves can cause a uh, confuse. Oh gosh. You know how some Pokemon moves can confuse a Pokemon? A confused Pokemon will sometimes attack itself without meaning to. But once it leaves the battle, it'll return to normal. Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether or not you are a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. And we got the Quick Claw. Now, Quick Claw helps a Pokemon occasionally move first in battle. Now, if we look at our stats immediately, I'm sure you can already tell who's going to get that. The slowest, which really isn't by far. Lotad isn't slow, but at the moment it's the slowest we have. So, Quick Claw it is. Not that it really needs it to get faster than the air. Uh, 
Pokemon will be fighting in the next gym. The man next door gave me an HM. I use it to teach my Pokemon how to cut down skinny trees. My Pokemon has a naive nature and my friend's has a jolly nature. It's fascinating how Pokemon have personalities. Just like people, there are male and female Pokemon and everything in between. But no one seems to have any idea how they're different. Two reasons. <laughs> Let's heal up. Okay. So we come in here. That determined expression. That limber way you move. And your well trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait. Don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you can put this hidden machine to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on. Take it. And we got HM01. Cut. That's Hidden Machine, or HM for short. It's cut. An HM move is one that can be used by Pokemon outside of battle. Any Pokemon that's learned cut can chop down thin trees if the trainer has earned the stone badge. And, unlike a TM, an HM can be used more than once. Now, obviously, this kind of stuff's changed recently. Um, after a certain point, they made TMs the same as HM, where they're no longer... Um, they're no longer destroyed after first use. Now in Sword and Shield, you've got TRs that act like the original TMs, where you can only use them once. Uh, HMs don't really exist anymore. There are other ways now to, to cut trees or to fly or to move boulders uh, in the last few games. So really, you're looking at legacy here. But it has certainly made it more convenient because, I mean, you'll see what I have to do now. I'm going to have to teach Cut to one of my Zigzagoon. And that just means that I have to keep that Zigzagoon in my party now to use Cut all the time. Oh, who might you be? You're a new face around these parts. Have you just transferred into the Pokemon Trainer School? No, biatch. I challenged the gym leader, but it's not going to be easy winning with my Fire-type Pokemon. Fire-type Pokemon don't match up well against Rock-type Pokemon. Pokemon you get in the trade from someone grows fast, but if you don't have certain gym badges, it may not obey you. It's always, I know obviously they had to at some point do something in the games to stop you getting yourself overpowered, but it just never really made sense to me that Pokemon don't listen to you based on the number of gym badges you have, when realistically you could be a trainer that doesn't challenge gyms. Do you know what I mean? What I think they maybe should have done is had trainer levels as well. And the Pokemon can't level past your level or something. Maybe. They just stop gaining XP until you level up. I don't know. Something more, something easier to work with than, oh, this little piece of metal stops your Pokemon from listening to what you say. Even though they've just listened to you for half your journey. I don't know. Every Pokemon has a special ability that it can use. Pokemon are such strange creatures. So are you, is that hair? Oh, it's so hard every day. What's hard? You need to ask. It's trying to figure out what to make for meals every day. <laughs> it really isn't easy coming up with meals every day. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Pepper household. I have a question for you. Have you ever babysat? You see, I'm a new father, so raising a child is all new to me. And I have a problem. My daughter Walder doesn't laugh enough. I think she'd laugh at me if I told her something funny. Do you know a funny word or a phrase you can tell me? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. So let's hear it. Your suggestion. I wonder if there's something so you're supposed to do here. I'm going to Google it one sec. Pokemon Emerald. Funny word. Walder. Walder. Click. Thank you. Oh, it depends on uh, the trainer ID. Oh, it's just wallpapers. Oh, I don't care then. I don't really care. Uh, let's go.
Ah, I see. Well, let's give it a try, shall we? Zigzagoon, zigzagoon. Hmm, she's not smiling at all. Maybe we one serious child. I'm done. You didn't get my humour, girl. Have you taken the Pokemon Gym Challenge? When you get that shiny gym badge in hand, I guess trainers begin to realise what is required of them. I just realised I missed a house. The trainer school is excellent. If you study there, you could even become a gym leader. Roxanne, the gym leader, really knows a lot about Pokemon. She's really strong too. Let's see about that. Okay. Huh? My Pokemon is cute? Sure I knew that. But if you really want, I'm willing to trade it to you. I'll trade you my seed up for a Ralts if you want. Uh, no, but that's good to know. Oh, if you don't want to, that's okay. But my Pokemon is cute, you know. In all sorts of places, there are all sorts of Pokemon. And people. I find that fascinating. So I go to all sorts of places. Right. Okay, so this is the Devon Corporation, which we won't go to yet. You can also then head north and east. The Devon Corporation. We'll just shorten it to Devon. That, poker, that company makes all sorts of convenient products. So you can come up north, but there's not really much to do here rather other than chatting for a bit and grabbing this item, which I will do. A super potion, thank you. Not until we can get um, the other side, which is a while. Exploring a cave isn't like walking on a road. You never know when wild Pokemon will appear. It's full of suspense. We can then also head east here, um, which we will after, which is part of the story anyway, so we're fine. So the last thing we're going to do is take on the gym. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers, and that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of rock-type Pokemon. The rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand water-type and grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Now what this game doesn't really tell you is by this point you could realistically have um, evolved your Torchic with a little bit of a push. You think I haven't really been using Torchic much. But obviously when Torchic evolves, it learns a fighting type move and becomes a fighting type Pokemon. And what that means is you're then safe. It's the same as in Fire Red and Leaf Green when they taught uh, Charmander Metal Claw to take on Brock. It's just an another way to make the harder version, the harder road, a bit easier and more rewarding if you have put some work in, I guess. So that's pretty good, but we won't need to because we have low tide, which is grass and water. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better than who. Better than not having a trainer, I suppose. There you go, one shot. Oh, that was a crit. I don't know if that mattered, it probably did. Level up. Thanks, Josh. Okay, now this is one of those new uh, battles. I will put Torchic there just to get some experience. I would like Torchic to have leveled up soon. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage. Tommy and Mark. Take it out one. Oh, nearly. Right, let's do it around. Oh, level up. Level up. Oh, and learn nature power. I really like nature power. It's not a very good move, but I've always liked nature power. 
I like moves that change type. I think like moves like metronome, nature power. I like it. Yeah, I won't use electric moves against you now that you've weakened it, thanks. Lovely. Okay. Well, I don't know what came all the way back here. And now here we are. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I'd learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Not too much of a big deal because we are going to be healing ourselves constantly. So. Level 40. Nice. Okay, how much? I have no intention of going anywhere, so you're fine. What's the nature power in here? Swift. No, that's not good. That's good. I could do that. I could do the crit at some point. Well, this is just a clicking battle. And we did. Level 15. Now I didn't really need that. Low tally evolves at level 14, but. So, I last. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat the gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. Stone Badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you. That technical machine, TM39, contains Rock Tomb. If it not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can only be used once, so think before you use it. Okay. Let's have a look at our shiny new badge. There we go. Did I get any items through all that? No. Rubbish. Get out! Out of the way! What's happening? Wait, please! Don't take my goods! Well, that seems ominous and definitely foreboding of story. So, we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next one. 
Bye.